In the past, if you wanted a seven seat SUV and you wanted to stay in the Infiniti brand, you were limited to the Behemoth QX, a vehicle that's about the size of a Cadillac Escalade with a thirsty 5.6 liter V8. And you know, not all luxury buyers want a vehicle that you know, has the maneuverability of a school bus or drinks gas like a college student who's drinking alcohol. So this is Infiniti's new vehicle for 2013, the JX, their new seven seat crossover. Infiniti realized that they got tired of seeing all their buyers go into Acura showrooms because they didn't have a vehicle that competed with it. So here comes this vehicle. It's actually based off of a stretch version of the Nissan Murano platform. Now that raises a lot of questions because the tagline for Infiniti as a brand is inspired performance. They're always known as the Japanese BMW. But does a vehicle that's front wheel drive biased with a CVT transmission really deliver inspired performance? Let's find out today as we show you guys the all new 2013 Infiniti JX. The styling of the vehicle is typical Infiniti here. You got the brand's corporate signature grille, the same swoopy curvy styling that Infinities have become known for. You got standard HID projector headlights and this particular color is called Moonlight White. It actually works really well on the vehicle. We also have standard fog lights. I mean, this vehicle is well equipped. It's a luxury crossover, and it's actually a quite striking vehicle when you see it in person. In pictures, the vehicle looks okay, but when you actually see it in person, the styling works. And if you're a fan of a curvy design language that Infinity gives you, you'll definitely like the styling of this vehicle. Coming to the side profile of the vehicle, things start to get a little interesting. You look at the D pillar where the back window is, you got this weird little, it looks like a, a pie sign that you see in math. You also get these 20 inch wheels, which are actually, which are actually quite good looking. The standard wheels are the 18, so we recommend going for the deluxe touring package to get the 20s, just because this vehicle definitely fills out the wheel wells with 20s. The 18s look too small. You do got the same, you got a very swoopy character line that actually comes from the front fender, and then it starts again and comes across the entire side of the vehicle. It actually adds a nice silhouette to the design. If you're not a fan of swoopy styling, this might not be your taste, but you know, if you're a big fan of that swoopy styling, which is all the rage right now, this vehicle will definitely look very stylish in your eyes. The rear of the vehicle tends to get a little on the bland side. I mean, you got the typical Infiniti corporate taillights here. It looks like a bigger version of the EX or the FX. Overall, it's a very safe, conservatively styled vehicle. And the one thing about it is people will buy this for because they have a need for a 7C crossover. It doesn't really evoke the kind of emotion that you would get in a Porsche Cayenne or a BMW X5. But at the same time, that's not its mission. Its mission. So in terms of styling, we would give it a conservative design, and it works. Now the real purpose of the JX is to carry seven passengers in comfort. And the second row definitely does that. You have very good leg room. This particular model has the theater package, so it gives you the dual screen DVDs. The deluxe touring package gives you the dual panel moonroof atop, so it helps brighten out the cabin. You got an armrest right here with uh, some cup holders and a little bit of storage. One thing about the seats is they actually slide forward and back. So that definitely helps with providing a little more leg room in the rear. And you have vents back here and you have a tri-zone automatic climate control throughout the vehicle. So passengers in your second row will not be complaining. One of the innovative features that Infiniti likes to brag about on this vehicle is how the second row seats fold forward to get you access to the third row. You pull this lever right here and watch as the seat back bottom actually lifts up hydraulically. And then you can just slide it forward to reveal a huge space to get into the third row. Infinity says that for parents out there, you actually can leave the child seat hooked onto the seat when you're folding the vehicle, well, when you're folding the seat forward. As expected with any luxury crossover SUV, a power lift gate is included as standard equipment on this vehicle. Getting inside the interior of the JX is definitely a luxurious experience. You got, of course you have your standard intelligent key with this vehicle. So basically to start the engine, put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. And of course, typical, you know, Nissan Infiniti startup, the gauges do a nearly nice sweep. The interior in here is really classy looking. It has a really high quality feel. You can't exactly tell that from pictures, but actually sitting in here, the ambience is just really high quality. Coming to the dashboard, you have soft touch graining on the dashboard, soft touch dashboard in general. The graining actually takes me back to the mid 90s Toyotas. That's the kind of what the feeling of the graining has, the plastics. The wood trim is all very beautiful. You have, you know, really nice lighting in here. Uh, the color combination on this one is actually a really nice beige with the wood. Um, there are a couple of feature, uh, issues in here that I'm noticing is this panel right here on the top part of the dashboard is actually hard plastic. I wasn't expecting that in this luxury SUV. The steering wheel, however, is very nice. You have 
nice bolstering extensions, really soft leather interior. And the gauges, I really like with the contrasting purple or violet color rings with the white. Uh, coming to the door panels, it is soft touch right here as expected. This is where your elbows are going to rest. Uh, and of course the same, you know, swoopy design language carries over in here. The dash is essentially lifted out of the M. And same with the steering wheel. And of course, this is the first Infinity product that has Nissan's or Infinity's CVT that comes off of a Nissan essentially. However, you do get a sport mode with an eco and a snow mode setting. Heated and ventilated seats are included. Of course, this one does have, it's a top of the line model, so it has your navigation system. And one of the cool features is the around view monitor. You can actually push this camera button and it'll show you a view of 360 degree view of the entire vehicle. That's an Infinity trademark feature. Coming to the glove box, it's huge, and it's also nicely damped and lined with felt, and also lighted. That's expected in this kind of vehicle. Opening the center console here, you'll will re reveal two levels of storage, and then coming to the bottom level, you have your power port, um, video jacks, and then some USB auxiliary input jacks as well. Now, before you even start driving the JX, the one eerie thing that you notice as soon as you buckle up if you hear that whirring noise, it's actually this crash seatbelt pretensioners tightening up and classifying what kind of occupant you are. I guess it's measuring your weight it's using the weight sensor. If you notice, the round view monitor is pretty helpful when you're trying to, you know, maneuver the vehicle in tight spaces like we have here. Now, like I said, this JX is not designed to be a sporty crossover. So, we're on this curvy road right here. It's definitely going to reveal some weaknesses of the vehicle, but at the same time, it might show some strengths that uh, most buyers in this class really care about. And that's not sporty, fun to drive performance. It's all about comfort here. Now the steering is numb. As I said, it's numb. Quite frankly, this is the kind of road that I'm, I was talking about when I said, you know, I want a crossover that I want to be able to haul my kids around, but when I kick them out, I want to be able to attack a twisty road, and this is not the one to do it in, but, you know, most of the people who buy these cars really don't care, and I will notice one thing immediately is, um, the JX rides softer than the MDX, and it has pretty good pep. This is Nissan's second generation CVT. Uh, I have it in, or just normal mode right now. And the rubber banding effect that you get with most CVTs is eliminated. It's not eliminated, it's minimized. That's the word I was looking for. But CVTs, you know, attached to a V6 have always been much better as opposed to the droning four cylinders that most people are used to, especially that you get in hybrids. Now with a 3.5 liter V6 from the Murano and only 265 horsepower, the JX is down on power compared to the competition by, you know, 35 especially when the MDX is packing 300, but you don't really notice it that much. Just because I guess Nissan's second generation CVT is pretty responsive. And the engine makes a pleasant sound when it's revving. It's not like your usual CVT drone. The seats though are like pretty much like your living room chair. They're very comfortable and supportive. Now, if you pay attention to the little cool information screen between the speedometer and the tachometer, you can see that it's actually got several different menus. You can push this button right here on the steering wheel and it cycles between you know, different uh, settings and menus. I have the car in eco mode, right, eco mode right now, and Infinity's got a system in their eco mode where the pedal actually pushes back on you, and you can definitely feel that, especially when I was trying to accelerate there, the car kind of stiffens the pressure as you put more pressure on the pedal to push back on you, it's kind of their way of saying, you're wasting gas, stop driving like an imbecile. It actually works fairly well, I must say. It annoys me, but at the same time, it's keeping me from putting my foot to the floor. So I have to say that's a really good system that Infinity actually thought of. Now, this vehicle does come standard with HID headlights and fog lights, and they do a really nice job of uh, illuminating the road ahead of you. Of course, that's expected of this type of vehicle. I've always been a fan of HID lights. I think that uh, they should be standard on almost every car. And they just add a nice upscale ambience and character to any vehicle. You can see that this is a CVT because it likes to hold the revs, typical like any CVT. I haven't driven Honda's new CVT, but Nissan supposedly makes the best. And this is a much better CVT than the other CVTs I've driven. 
But at the same time, the handling, while it doesn't inspire confidence, is secure enough. And the transmission's in sport mode right now. The engine makes a decent sound, and it holds the revs up where I'd like it to hold the revs up while I'm trying to, you know, maneuver on these curves and accelerate out of them. With a vehicle this large and you know designed to carry your family you'd hope it has really good brakes and the brakes are really good on this car they have nice feel nice good bite to them and the car doesn't have much nosedive i mean there is some nosedive as typical of an suv but they inspire confidence and that's important especially uh when you live in an area that require that has a lot of people that like to do a brake check on you and that's constantly in the northern virginia area in about a quarter of a mile continue straight ahead onto spring hill road Thank you, GPS lady. Now onto my final recommendations. You know, I started this video saying that uh, Infinity is known as a brand that delivers inspired performance. So does a seven passenger, you know, front drive based SUV with a CVT deliver inspired performance? The answer is no, not really. But at the same time, Infinity built a vehicle that performs its intended job very well. It's very comfortable, it's very quiet, it's very luxurious. And it'll definitely win, win, win over uh, buyers that are in the market for a seven-seat luxury crossover SUV. So, you know, if you're in the market for one and you haven't, and you're, you know, tired of the usual MDX or X5 or Audi Q7 that you see everybody driving, definitely head over to your local Infiniti dealer and check out the JX. Just remember that if you're a driving enthusiast, you're not going to be happy with this car. But if you're not, you just want something luxurious and comfortable, then this car may just suit your needs. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later.